हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो और लिनियर इन इक्वेलिटीज पार्ट टू इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू शुड हैव वॉच पार्ट वन इट्स ऑल वन मोर क्वेश्चन हेयर दिस इज द इक्वेशन एंड वे हेयर ऑल्सो वी है वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेयर एक्स इज इंडिजन रियल नंबर एंड नेशनल नंबर सो फर्स्ट लेट्स सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन सो इट सेज फाइव एक्स माइनस फोर इज ग्रेटर दैन टू एक्स प्लस so we'll move this this side and we'll move this this side so what we get is 3x is greater than 7 because when you move this this side the sign changes so this become plus 4 and this becomes minus 2x correct so you get 3x is less than 7 now what we do here is or we'll say x is less than 7 by 3 This is the equation we have got. Now, in case of integer, when it is integer, the values are the values are minus infinity. Tuck, 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 tuck. Zero, one, two, three, infinity. So this is the set for integer. This is the set for integer. So here, when we are saying is less than seven by three, seven by three is nothing but two one by Three. So we see all the number which are less than two one by three. Here we'll have something called two one by three. All the number which are less than two one by three will satisfy this condition. All the number which is greater than two one by three will not satisfy the condition. So our answer will be minus infinity. Dot 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 minus one zero one two. So this will be our solution set. Any number less than two one by three that is integer. is part of solution set so this is the solution set when you talking about real number real number is minus infinity to plus infinity and here you can have any values so we'll say 2 3 because 2 1 by 3 is our case here so any number so any number less than 2 1 by 3 is set sense condition so we will say minus infinity One by three. Please note here we are using open open bracket because open from a memory tip we get open is O N E open no end point. Since two one by three is not considered because here it is less than it is not less than equal to so we'll say two one by three open and infinity is closed because infinity is included. Here we see in the last example in the case of integer two is included because two will Include this, so we'll say two, and this will be a closed interval because two also satisfies the condition. And here infinity is also closed interval. Please note, open and closed interval is also mandatory here. Let me write down here. This is open, and this is closed. Because lot of people miss this, and this is crucial. This is open, this is closed. This is why open because two one by three is not part of X. Had this equation be something like uh, x is less than equal to seven by three, then we would have given a closed interval there. We have discussed this in the shared chapters. Now let's take example of natural number. So natural number starts with one, two, three, four. It goes to infinity. Our decision point is two one by three. It will be something here, two one by. So any number less than two one by three is our our value of x. So the only value we get is one and two. So here we are using closed interval because one and two satisfies the condition, and one and two is the only natural number that satisfies the condition. So one and two is the answer. So here we are asked to show the graph of solution for number line. Solutions on number line, so we have to represent this in number line. So it is seven x plus four is less than four x plus nine. We'll make this here, so it will become minus four x. We'll make this here, so it will become minus four. So what you get is three x is less than five, or x is less than five by three, or x is less than five. By three is nothing but one two by. So now we are asked to represent this in number line. 
this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and since we have one two by three, so we'll say we will divide this in three three four part one by three. This is one, this is one one by three, and this guy is one two by three, and this is two. This is minus one. This is minus two. This is minus one. Now we are talking the our break point is one two by three. There is five by three. This is here. So this is our break point. But we are saying greater than, less than. It is not less than equal to. So here we will have open or closed. Obviously open because open O N E open no endpoints. Endpoints are not selected. So we will create a circle. So once we create a circle, for us x is less than this. Less than this is on the left hand side. So this is our solution. I will darken this again. So any number that is less than one, two by three, or five by three, the solution. And since five to five by three is not part of the set, so we have put a open sign. And for open sign, we have a lighter or white colored circle. So this is the white colored circle, and this is the set. Had the solution be x is less than equal to five by three, then we would have done something like this: minus one, zero, one, one one by three, one two by three, and this is two. This. So in this case, we would have made a dark circle here, and we would have said this is the solution because dark circle means this is included. And had this example be something like this, where x is instead of less than greater than 5 by 3 what we would have done was we would have drawn the same number line minus 2 minus 1 0 1 we'll say 1 1 by 3 this will say 1 2 by 3 this is 2 this is 3 so here since again the uh, decision point is this this is not dark this is lighter one you can see the light color here since it is greater than and since it is greater than it is Right side. So this is the solution set for greater than 1, 2 by 3 or 5 by 3. Again, this is a solution for x is less than 5 by 3. This is a solution for x is greater than 5 by 3. This is a solution for x is less than equal to 5 by 3. So it is a dark line, a dark circle. And here both are lighter circles. So here we are saying the marks obtained by a student in first and second test are this and this. Find the minimum marks you should obtain in test 3 so that the average is 60 or 60 plus. So we will create a table now. This is the test and this is the marks. Create like this. This is the first test, this is the second test and this is the third test. In first test he got 62, in second test he got 48 and in third test let's assume he got x. We have to find this x. Now we are asked that the average should be at least 60. So what is the average? Average is 62 plus 48 plus x by 3. Why 3? Because there are 3 elements. Now they are saying it should be 60 plus. 60 or more than 60. That means it should be greater than 60. Please note it should be greater than 60. At least 60 greater than equal to 60. It should not be greater than 60. It should be greater than equal to 60. Please note, we could have used greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, and less than, equal to symbol here. But we are using this because it says the average is greater than, equal to 60, at least 60. So we are not using this. We are not talking about less than, so not using this. We are not talking about less than, equal to, so we are not using this. We are talking about the average is greater than or equal to 6. So what we get here is, you add this, what you 60 plus 40, 60, this is 48, sorry. So what you get is 110 plus x is equal to 180. Right? Now we'll move this, this side. So this will become minus 110 or we'll get this is equal to or we'll say x is greater than equal to 180 minus 110 or we'll say x is greater than equal to 70. So minimum 70 is the number you should get or 70 plus 
70 or 70 plus so that is average in the first three test is 60 or 60 plus here we are supposed to find pairs of consecutive odd natural numbers both are which is larger than 10 and such their sum is 40 so when you are talking about odd consecutive natural number it's something like 5, 7, 9 so to represent the odd number we use 2x plus 1 this is the best way to represent odd number because you are creating an even number and you are adding 1 it becomes odd number and if you want to create a consecutive odd number for this you need to add 2 because 5 and 7 the difference is 2 7 and 9 difference is 2 so you have to add 2 so it becomes 2x plus 3 so these are the two odd numbers now we are saying that so now what we have done till now we have taken two odd natural number 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 3 these are the numbers and now it says that both of which are larger than 10 so that means 2x plus 1 is greater than 10 and 2x plus 3 is also greater than 10 and sum of them is less than 40 that means 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 3 is less than 40 so when you solve this what you get is 4x is less than 36 or x is less than 9 so this is one condition when you solve this equation what you get is 2x is greater than 9 or x is greater than 9 by 2. When you solve this equation what you get is 2x is greater than 7 or x is greater than 7 by 2. Let's draw a number line. So this is 0. So this is 0 and we are talking about 7, 9 by 2 and all. 7 by 2, 9 by 2. So we will take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's take these numbers because this will cover our set. So it says first is less than 9. So less than 9 is on the left hand side. So we will take this set. Second it, it is greater than 9 by 2. 9 by 2 is here, somewhere here. So it is greater than 9 by 2 is this set. And third it, it says it is greater than 7 by 2. 7 by 2 is this set. So what we are supposed to take is condition which satisfies all. So that means this is the condition that satisfies all. And here since we have taken consecutive number, so x will be a integer only. So what value of x satisfies is 5, 6, 7, 8. Because 9 we are saying is greater than 9. So greater than 9, this is not there. So 5, 6, 7, 8 satisfies this. Do you understand why we have taken we have, why we have not taken 9? Because it says x is less than 9. So x is less than 9, 9 is not there. So we start somewhere from here. This is not included. So we get 5, 6, 7, 8. So the number is we rep replace either 5, 6, 7, 8 in this equation. So if we replace 5, what we get is 2 into 5 plus 1. 2 into we'll say 5 here. 2 into 5 plus 1 is 11. And 2 into 5 plus 3 is 30. This is one set. Now we will say 6. So we will replace this by 6. So what we get is 2 into 6 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 into 2 12 plus 1 that is 13 and then so this is 15. Similarly we will replace 7 and 8 with x here. When you replace with 7 you get 2 into 7 14 plus 1 15 and this you get 17 and when you replace by 8 you get 2 into 8 16 plus 1 17 and you get 19. So you see the answer we have got satisfies everything. Both the number are larger than 10 and sum of the number is less than 40. You add this two, you get 24. You add this two, you get 36. You add this two, you get 28. And you add this two, you get 20, 32. So this is the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.